Welcome to this first session on Archicad. Today we'll be looking at tools and palettes. Across to your left of your screen you have your toolbox and that gives all the relevant tools you'll be using to create a documentation. All your 3D elements, under documents you have all your 2D elements and um, annotation and under more it's a combination of both 2D and 3D elements. Across the top here is your info box, which gives you information rel relative or related to the tool you've selected, whether it's the wall tool, the door tool, as you could see this would change and give you information for you to modify each element. Across to the right, it's called the navigator. We have project map, which currently tells you where you're active in your 3D, view map, which talks about, or well, this is the part where you save relevant views, layout book, setting up on pages, and publisher, which is converting documents to PDF or DWG, etc. In your view map, this is where you save the view required. Well, this quick options is sort of related to it. Which layer combination you've chosen, your scaling factor, um, showing your elements, whether it's full model or finishes or core only your pen setting, your construction method, um, showing your elements uh, for innovation, and Australian default uh, dimensioning. Across the top here is your standard um, menu bar and across the and then above that is your pull down menu obviously. You click on any of these and they're all your pull down menus. If you are missing any of these palettes, for example I might have two of them missing the way to re-open um, or, or, or set them back up, it's under Windows, Palettes, Main Palettes only, and it'll create or reopen them. Windows, I'm just going to go back to Windows again, Windows, Palettes, and these are obviously extra palettes that you could use, and as we go on through ArchiCAD you would see the use of all these. If I just want to go to um, F3, oh sorry, F5 gets me to my 3D view. A very common palette you would use in 3D. If you right mouse click up the top here on your status bar, you could bring up your 3D visualization. And this is a common palette you would use in 3D, for example, 3D projection settings to create shadow diagrams um, and particular views. You would use a 3D window settings, which is again related to your shadows, photo rendering settings and photo rendering projection. They're very commonly used in 3D for rendering shadows and etc. Thank you.